Hey guys, welcome back to Hemlock Ridge. Glad you're here today. We're gonna to be checking out the Alpicool TA55 refrigerated cooler right here on Hemlock Ridge. <laughs> So I'd like to thank Alpicool for sponsoring today's video. Uh, you know, one of the things is if you're gonna spend extended time off grid, you gotta real, think about how you're going to provide any kind of refrigeration for um, perishable items like dairy and, and things like that, unless you've, you've got it fresh. And obviously our ancestors did lots of cool things where they would create root cellars and, and you could certainly uh, dig a root cellar if you wanted to do that too. Or if you're only going to be off the grid for a few days, you know, there's really good coolers out there now that have very low ice melt and you, you could use them as well too. But let's say you want to be off the grid for weeks or months and you don't have a lot of solar to run a conventional refrigerator. Well, there's a lot of nice options out there now. Uh, one of which is a cooler slash refrigerator that's made by Alpicool. This is one of the bigger units. It's the TA55, which is about a 58 quart unit. I think it's the largest unit that they have. So this is gonna be a little bit less portable, but it's gonna give you a lot more room uh, to be able to store more food and also uh, frozen goods than perhaps a smaller, more portable um, unit. They do make this 55 liter unit as well as a 45 liter unit and a 35 liter unit. And uh, if you're going to, again, be car camping uh, van life, you might want something a little bit smaller, but for something like this where you're going to be off-grid and not moving it a lot, the extra space is fantastic. Now what you'll notice, which is really nice about this cooler, is there's actually two compartments and they can be controlled independently. Uh, they can get down to well below zero. Uh, you could use the big compartment for a freezer or you could use it as a fridge and vice versa. And what's great is you could also control this from your phone with a Bluetooth-based app. So if you are in your cabin and, uh, or your tent and you wanna check the temperature of the cooler just by opening up the phone, you can do that really easily as well too and adjust the temperature through there as well. Now the big thing is you're gonna to wanna to be very economical with the amount of power you're using if you're in an off-grid cabin, even if you're in a van and it's gonna be parked for a while or an RV and, and you don't wanna drain down uh, your 12 volt battery system. This does have battery protection in it, so if the battery gets too low, it will cut out the power. Uh, but it does have uh, eco mode, right? So if you don't need it to cool down as fast, uh, you could put it in eco mode, it'll use less power. And if you are plugged into regular AC and you wanna have it cool down faster because you're getting ready to leave, you can put it on max and it will use a little bit more power but get it down to temperature faster. Now here is the trick I mentioned. This uh, is a DC compressor, right? It's 12 volt. So you'll see if I plug this into my power station, um, on DC, it's only pulling anywhere between 40 to 45 watts when it's running. So, you know, very economical. If I plug it into the power station on AC, you'll see that it's generating about 66 to 70 watts on AC. And why is that? Because there's conversion lost. You're taking your solar system and your batteries, which are all 12 volt, you're converting it to AC, and then the fridge is using its power adapter to convert it back to DC. So you get a lot of conversion loss in the, in the conversion from DC to AC and then AC back to DC. So the recommendation is if you can run this straight off of DC, you're gonna use less power, almost a third less power, and that's gonna make a big difference over the course of days and weeks as you're trying to conserve any kind of energy. The other thing that you can do with this unit is you can run it off of solar. So if you have obviously a solar powered setup in your cabin, great. But if you're going somewhere and you've got a man cave or a she shed and you wanna be able to run this off of solar, you can hook it up to a uh, solar generator or a power station with solar panels and it will provide more than enough power to keep this thing running 24 seven. It does have the ability to uh, insert a battery right into this unit and hook it directly up to solar. However, what I've been told is that uh, that battery is very small because there's not a lot of room to put a large battery in the cooler. And when you aren't on solar, it only lasts about two to three hours before the battery's dead. So the battery might be convenient if you're gonna be you know, going on a picnic and you just wanna keep this cooler running without anything plugged in. 
Uh, but if you're going to be off-grid, you'd be better to invest in a portable power station and run it off of that or, again, just hook, it up, hook and get up to your off-grid solar system if you have one of those as well, too. Now, the size is really impressive. You'll see that I've put a can in here just to show you how deep and large this container is. You could put a lot of food in here. You could put a, easily you know, bottles of wine, uh, produce, eggs, milk, you name it. It will fit in there, meats, all kinds of stuff. Um, on the other side, the freezer is a little bit smaller or the, the second compartment if you choose to use it as a freezer, uh, but not bad where you couldn't put you know, a half gallon of ice cream in there, uh, some ice cube trays and some other things uh, that you wanna keep cold and frozen as well too. It also does have a expandable handle, which is nice, and wheels. So this will get a little bit heavy if it's loaded up, and if you're gonna be moving it around, it's great to be able to uh, just slide out this handle. There's two releases on it, and be able to wheel the unit uh, wherever you're going without breaking your back. What's nice about this unit, too, is it's relatively quiet. So if you're gonna be in a one-room cabin like this where you're gonna be sleeping next to this, this just has a very quiet, low compressor hum, not at all. Uh, jarring or annoying whatsoever. Same thing if you're going to have it in your van uh, or your camper. This is extremely quiet, which is really nice. Um, also remember, this is going to have a duty cycle. So depending on how warm it is, uh, the ambient temperature, how often you're opening it, um, it's going to cycle on and off once it gets to temperature. So even if you are uh, drawing close to 70 watts on AC or 40 to 45 watts on DC, that's not going to be 24 seven. It might only be 12 to 18 hours out of the day that it's drawing because the other time the compressor shuts off and it stays cold in here as well. Um, I do like there is a couple of creature comforts that come with this as well too. So there's an integrated bottle opener. Uh, also right under the cover of the large compartment is a cutting board that pops out really handy if you're going to be um, slicing up some vegetables or cheese or whatever it might be. And then also you've got some integrated cup holders as well if you're going to set some cups on this as well. Um, this particular model is just the right height to sit on as well too. So you've got some extra seating if someone just wants to use it as a bench uh, if you don't need to be getting in and out of there. So that's the Alpicool TA55 compressor fridge and freezer. Uh, I'm impressed. I think this is a great option if you're going to be off-grid for any long period of time. It's uh, very economical as far as the amount of energy it uses. And I will put a link in the description if you'd like to learn more and, and check it out online. Um, but let me know what you use uh, for off-grid refrigeration. Go ahead and make a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, hopefully these reviews have been helpful and give you some ideas too on how you can make the transition uh, to off-grid living. Thanks for watching. Remember life is short, so get outdoors. And we'll see you back here next time on Hemlock Ridge.